I'm Joel Grace and I am the president of the Greater Reno Community Ice Skating Association, which is known as Reno Ice. Uh, I've been on this project for about six years since the inception when we started the uh, foundation. Six years ago, uh, there was a handful of us that uh, had this, what started off as an outline and a, a crazy idea. And after uh, a lot of research, realizing that the most successful rinks throughout the country were nonprofits, uh, an ice rink is not a get rich quick scheme at all. Um, but it was, we knew it was going to be difficult because the community was not introduced to the sport and the folks that were used to having uh, that type of facility we're moving here from outside the area so they're probably not community driven at that time with their philanthropic efforts uh, but we just wanted to see it through I mean and there were some really tough times where it was it was taking a long time uh, fortunately we had the uh, the O'Neill family that had stepped up uh, and had helped uh, found the organization and the nonprofit and without a lead donor this project doesn't happen uh, it's just unbelievable that with their kindness and their philanthropic efforts um, of what we were able to accomplish in 2014 my mom Jennifer passed away from pancreatic cancer and when we were getting this started we needed a, a lead gift and um, my dad stepped up in a he wanted to honor his his late wife and my mom and so it became the the Jennifer M O'Neill Community Ice Arena. Hi, my name's Cam Sorensen. I'm the Vice President of Reno Ice. I've been involved with this project for uh, six years now and it's been exciting to help lead the people part of the project. Ice sports have always been a passion of mine and uh, it's part of growing up in a rough area. Ice sports, I felt, really saved me in, uh, from, from tr getting into trouble. A lot of the kids I grew up with you know, cho chose the wrong path and, and and I, I believe that the ice sports and, and ice hockey in particular, in my case, uh, kept me out of trouble, gave me something to get out of bed uh, and look forward to every day. And uh, it was just a great experience that I wanted to bring to this community. The most rewarding part of getting this facility built is just seeing the incredible interest um, in what we have created here. We knew that people were going to be really, really excited to have this ice facility in town, but the interest has far exceeded our expectations. I drove by yesterday um, afternoon and saw four um, Boys and Girls Club buses out front. Um, this place was just filled with little kids who've never stepped foot on the ice, and it's just so rewarding to be able to bring ice sports, not just hockey, but figure skating and other sports to kids in this community. One of the projects, uh, call, it, call it a mini project, uh, that's been near and dear to the board's heart from the very inception of this project has been making sure that ice is affordable for everybody because typically ice is known as being an expensive sport regardless of what you're doing because it costs a lot to operate. However, uh, from the very beginning we decided that we were going to have a scholarship fund for kids who uh, maybe couldn't afford to play. So our goal from the very beginning is any child that walks through the door, uh, we will figure out a way to get them on the ice. And we've already been doing that, which has been great, uh, but now we're working with some corporate partners that believe in that mission uh, so that we can actually have a more formal process and have it uh, have funds raised on a yearly basis to be able to provide that to those children. Stepping on the ice for the first time was surreal. It's such a long project. I mean it took six and a half years to, to get to this point and um, to be out here with with my two kids coaching, playing, um, it's I can't put it into words but um, it's just so awesome and to see all the kids out here already is, is amazing. Seeing my son, who's a hockey player, step onto ice for the first time in Reno. He's been skating for nine years, but we traveled to California for him to play on a team. And seeing him step onto an ice surface in Reno five or seven minutes from our home was just incredibly emotional and special. For me, success looks like every kid in this community getting the opportunity to experience ice sports, be it figure skating, speed skating, ice hockey. It just it made such a difference in my life and I know it's gonna make a big impact to, to the kids. We see, we're seeing it already and how, all the smiling faces when they get off the ice, uh, it's just fantastic to see. Come see our dream. Come see the dream. Come see the dream that is Reno Ice.